if you are sick of just balling up fitted sheets and flinging them into your closet, or if you're struggling to find the right size sheet for the bed you're dressing, never fear, I've got you sorted. We are going to take your linen closet from packed to pristine. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura, and if changing and washing towels and bedclothes is the bane of your existence, then I'm about to change your life. This is day 16 of the declutter challenge, clutter free in five, where we get big results from small spaces and all in just five minutes. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch the rest. If you want to see big results in seconds, then the first thing you should tackle is big bulky stuff that you no longer need. I'm talking about duvets, comforters, and old pillows. They take up a huge amount of real estate. And if you're keeping old blankets and pillows just in case, you're doing yourself a disservice. Free up that space by donating those things to a local animal shelter. There are piles of puppies out there who would love your old pillows. Why would you deny them? Why? For the rest then, let me ask you some questions that are going to help you make decisions as to what should stay and what should go. First, let's look at towels. How many towels does each person in your household realistically need? This will obviously depend on how often they want a fresh one and also on how often you wash towels. And then same if you have guests at your home. How many towels do you want to provide for them and how often will you be washing them while they're there? As a general rule, if you are washing your towels about once a week, I would say two to four towels should be more than sufficient unless somebody in your home is like a hardcore gym bunny or something. That way as one is being washed there is at least one extra on hand. For us I wash the towels once a week and honestly we are happy to use the same towel for the whole week so I only keep two towels per person and then two extra towels for guests. That way we can alternate them every week. I also keep two hand towels for each sink, again, so we can alternate, and a small number of face cloths. And honestly, that is more than enough for us. Like worst case scenario of a whole pile of guests for some reason descended on my home, I could just throw in an extra load of towels during the week. And here's a bonus tip for you if you don't have a huge amount of laundry to do, we don't, get dark towels and light towels and alternate them. So for the weeks that I am washing the dark towels, I will also throw in the dark clothes. Now I know some people say you shouldn't wash towels and clothes together. I don't care. It reduces the amount of laundry I have to do. And then on the next week when I'm washing the light towels, I throw in all the light colored clothes. Once you have worked out how many towels you want for each person, keep those get rid of the rest. Okay, let me show you how I fold and store towels and then I will move on to bed clothes. For large ones, I fold in half, in half again, and then into thirds and I store them like this. For hand towels, I fold into thirds and thirds again and store them like this. And face cloths are just half and half. Lovely. Now, bed clothes. Again, it comes down to how often you change and wash your bed clothes. But I would say that two sets of bed clothes per bed should be enough. Unless you are regularly dealing with accidents in the night, two should be sufficient. For us, we actually just have one set of bed clothes for our bed. We wash them and we put them straight back on. So easy. So again, just decide on how many sets you want per bed, how many you feel is reasonable and then remove the rest. Now you may have some seasonal sets. If you have the time and energy, you can go through those now. If not, deal with them whenever that season rolls around again. Okay, let me show you not only how to fold bed clothes, but also how to store them in such a way that you never have to go looking for a matching set again. Are you ready for this magic? I will say that I have a separate video on three different ways to fold a fitted sheet. I'm gonna show you one here. It's probably the easiest one, but if you do want to see the other two ways, then I will link that video for you. This then is how you are going to fold your fitted sheet. Lay it out flat with the elasticated parts folded in so that the edges are straight and it's basically the exact same shape as a regular sheet. And then just fold as normal. When you are folding your fitted sheet and then your top sheet or other non-fitted sheets and any duvet covers, 
fold them up until they are about the same size as a pillow. If you have more than one pillowcase in the set, then fold all of them but one in half. Now lay all of them on top of each other so that again they resemble a pillow. I like to tuck them all inside the duvet cover because it just makes this next step a little easier. But take your last pillowcase and slip it over them and voila! You have an entire set of matching bed clothes all in one neat little package. No more rummaging around trying to find the matching pillowcase or the right size sheet. Everything you need is all neatly together. All you have to do is grab and go. Easy peasy. Now next up could be a tough one, not gonna lie, but just remember that all you have to give it is five minutes. And as always, I will be here with tips and tricks to make it easier for you. We are going to tackle a storage space. Could be your attic, your basement, a closet, garage, wherever you tend to stash things. Yeah, that place. So we are gonna start clearing that out. Grev Milamagrev. Welcome back to Swan. Won't somebody think of the puppies? 